Caddis Maximus here. This time I'm doing a review of the uh, Diesel Power, the Diesel Brothers Diesel Power Bluetooth speaker. The only reason I'm even doing this is I saw this at a junk store. It was like $2. And, you know, they have like a little Discovery Channel of like Diesel Truck Build Series. And they have a YouTube channel where they do some like off-road recovery stuff. And, uh, you know, a lot of YouTubers I even used to sell like clothing and stuff, but they had, you know, some Chinese company print their logo on a little Bluetooth speaker, but I thought it was kind of sour because, uh, you know, they're, you know, they have a TV series and, you know, a lot of subscribers on YouTube. And this is such a cheesy, terrible quality, kind of junky little speaker. It's really overpriced. Even something like <laughs> this new Riptide here, uh, is built better and is more powerful and is like half the price. And I just wanted to point out on their website, they say ABS plastic metal has a 400 milliamp hour battery. Uh, that's pretty sad. You know, no link to the manual. Doesn't even really describe its full functionality. It's just kind of cheese ball. And quite literally the only metal on this is like some kind of little panel on this passive radiator. As you can see, it's exposed, you know, keys, debris, it's going to end up destroying that surround. I mean, who knows? It has a built-in FM radio. You can put a micro SD card in there or even a USB key. But mind you, it said it had a 400 milliamp hour capacity battery. This is a 400 milliamp hour capacity battery. As you can see, you know, it's about the size of the end of my thumb. 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, so this speaker apparently has a battery this size, and you're actually going to get some kind of life out of it by driving a USB key. USB keys don't use a lot of power, but that's a microscopic battery, so I thought it was just cornball. And you notice it was like 30 bucks unless you joined their club, and it was like, that's twice as much as like this little thing, and this is a 3-watt neodymium magnet. This actually has a steel grill. The passive radiator is actually guarded. This was waterproof floats. This one, I think, you know, one of their staff saw it. Oh, that was cool. They got some offer from a Chinese company uh, for $2 a piece on these, and they took them, but absolutely terrible. The front cover, I notice, you can pry it off. And so we're going to be able to tear this thing down and just see how bad it really is inside. I suspect this is a one and a half. Uh, perhaps two watts peak for the speaker and so that's all they did is they just had um, it's not silk screened it almost is like a bleached logo it's a D-A-X-I-N-G so a Dajang uh, speaker which is like a real backwaters Chinese company this is a standard cone driver polyurethane foam uh, surround so that's going to deteriorate uh, Especially in the sun, if this is supposed to be used outdoors or something. But it's not waterproof, so I don't think so. Anyway, might as well give it a, a, a quick little listen with some copyright-free music. And it actually does. They, get a, they got a custom uh, broadcast, so it shows up as the Diesel Power Bluetooth speaker. It is at least Bluetooth 4. It has a play button mode for changing from playing off of the memory card slots, that type of stuff. It does support track advanced. This is maximum volume on the speaker, on the computer. This, I mean, that's like a headphone speaker. So anyway, I'm gonna, whoop, I probably should turn it off. I'm gonna, we're going to take a, whoops, on this side. Take a look inside. That I mean, it is just super weak. I just can't. You think of people who have the kind of resources that they do would not try to get some product that has their logo on it. That really is. There's like 200 reviews on their website. You know, people gave it a lot of positives and it just does a terrible job of doing what it's supposed to do, which is actually be a little portable speaker. And it's just, you know, I'm all about good value for the money. I do all these tool videos, and so this this thing is something I would never put on. If I ever got to a point of selling hardware, 
wouldn't be cheesy like this and it would be definite good value let me pry this apart no prying necessary just need to pull on that there's a little passive radiator put the surround on the inside so it's not protruding from the back of the unit that is not a neodymium magnet driver that is a very terrible little driver they are advertising a four ohm little three watt driver but it is just no good there's our little battery, not even foamed in. Doesn't have any markings on this battery whatsoever. What about our little circuit board here? Come on, get out of there. Oh, the buttons are being funky. Not sure what that component is. But I'm going to zoom in a little more so we can get a much better look. That little trace of wires, a Bluetooth antenna, not a super great Bluetooth antenna. Let's see if we can't get... I might be able to just get close enough. To get via that chip there. Whoop. <laughs> Need to get my zoom under control. That would be the brains of the operation, and this is probably the firmware. This is going to be the amplifier, too. There's our little slots. It's a custom little chip. Just what a cheesy little thing for 30 bucks. I mean, come on. It's, you know, for <laughs> it's too expensive for just a crap novelty item. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And we'll be back to our normal content in the next video.